गुड मॉर्निंग रोजी गुड मॉर्निंग टॉम दिस मॉर्निंग फील्स सो फ्रेश एंड एनर्जेटिक Yes, this unbelievable environmental changes is the healing effect of COVID-19 lockdown. The polluted natural resources that is land, soil, water have resulted in numerous positive changes. Have you ever thought about natural resources and debt? Hmm, yes. I collected information about it from a magazine during lockdown. Wow. I too watched many documentaries on TV during lockdown about water resources and other resources. Let's go for a morning walk and discuss about them. Come on, come on. Let's walk and talk. Land when put to different uses is called as land use pattern. And the increase in needs of humans is responsible for changes in pattern. In one TV show, I saw how growing population converts forest land to crop land and crop land to non-agricultural land. And these are dependent on two factors: physical, such as topography, soil, climate, minerals, water, etc., and human and economic factors. And if land is not properly used, it may lead to deforestation, soil erosion, desertification, and crop land shortage. But don't forget, soil, the uppermost thin layer of earth crust, it is also important resource on which plants and animals are dependent. Do you know how soil is formed? Its factors. I got confused with the land factors. Yes dear it's simple soil formation starts with weathering of rocks rocks are exposed to high and low temperature that result in crack formation in between the rock particles falling rainfall also cracks and loosens the rocks slowly when time passes rock breaks and these move down by the slopes of mountains and hills When these weathered soil accumulates in a number of layers, 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 and layers, it leads to soil formation. Plants that are dead are also important factor as they adds on humus. Oh, so there are five factors affecting soil formation: climate, it includes temperature and rainfall, rock, time, slope, and dead plants. On one of the infotainment channels on TV I have seen about zonal groups of soil zonal means presence of soil on a wide spread area they are of two types pedal firs and pedicles but due to power cut I was unable to watch the program further do you know what is the difference between both the soils yes i too had watched that show these two soils are found in temperate region this is the similarity but the difference is that petal fir is rich in al that is aluminum and fe that is iron oxide that's why it is name as petal fir and pedicles is rich in cal cal that is calcium other difference in petal fir is found in humid region example pedicolic gray brown pedicolic red yellow petal fir however pedicles is found in dry region example chernism prairies sandy and mountain soil now i am bit clear rosie with their differences well i am familiar with soils of india they are alluvial soil black soil laterite soil red and mountain soil good good tom when we talk about soil we can't neglect its erosion that is caused by continuous cultivation most important factor is human factor and physical factor and physical includes rainfall and wind 
that divides soil of its nutrients human factors oh my god this factor really burns me into fire same pinch storm we humans are worse than animals restless cutting of trees chemical usage faulty irrigation practices lead to soil erosion we need to protect soil with wise and rational use by controlling floods by building check dams crop rotation afforestation and controlled overgrazing contour plowing and terrace farming are also important ways by which we can conserve what what two terms that you use contour plowing and what was the other one na mm, uh, what was it please explain tom the other one is terrace farming these two are methods to conserve soil that are used on mountains and hills to prevent soil erosion and water flowing from rivers see rosie in terrace farming wide steps are cut around the slopes of hills to prevent soil erosion it alters the shape of the soil to produce flat areas that provide water to be retained in soil and vegetation to grow in case of contour plowing there is no alteration of shape of slope it follows the natural shape of the slope okay okay now i understood this was something new that you told me today morning tom i am very much tired now i'm feeling thirsty also come come rosie let's go back home and drink water water is an indispensable resource two thirds of the earth's surface is covered with water most of the earth's fresh water is found in rivers streams lakes and ponds but its availability depends on the amount of rainfall in areas of heavy rainfall water seepages create a good reserve for underground water and its availability is also dependent on the pattern of consumption in a region i have heard in the documentary that i was telling you about river valley projects that were developed in india and many countries to utilize water for many purposes yes and for multi purpose projects dams are constructed and water is collected in a reservoir and it is put to use such as irrigation hydroelectric power generation afforestation and navigation navigation means movement of ship and many such projects have made the states of gujarat and rajasthan fit for agriculture and also help in controlling floods and soil conservation but its negative side increasing urbanization water pollution and absence of water management are still responsible for choking of fresh water supplies the government at various levels need to develop ways to conserve and manage water resources finally hirozi finally we reached our home now <laughs> yes finally now i will drink ample amount of water and now i understood how it is so important for all of us for our survival okay tom meet you soon goodbye take care bye 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 tata rosie